Good afternoon, everybody. It is not what I expected it to be today. I was hoping for some, I don't know, inclement weather. There was supposed to be an enhanced risk for severe thunderstorms here in mid-Michigan. And so far, nothing. We had a line of storms, well, I won't say storms. We had a weather system move through this morning. How about that? Um, brought a bunch of rain with it. And it was on the back side of that where if everything cleared out and the day heated up, there was a potential for it to trigger uh, some thunderstorms. Well, it's heated up. Now, my car thermometer says it's 84 degrees out and it is super humid. So I was hoping for some uh, unstable air and for that to trigger some storms by the time I got out of work, but nothing yet. There's still a chance though. There's still a chance that it could fire off, uh, you know, a little bit later on this evening. Let the, uh, let it warm up a little bit more. We'll see. I can always hope, right? And by the way, you'll notice that the field of view is a lot greater than it was lately on the vlog because I had been doing it all with my phone. Now it's all being done on the TG Tracker. So today's vlog post, in its entirety will be shot with the TG tracker. We'll see how it works out. I'm pretty confident that this is going to be my totally 100% go-to vlogging camera now. So I'm going to turn the camera off, do a little bit of driving, and if there's something interesting to shoot on the way home, then I'm going to stop and shoot it. Uh, so before I go, I guess I can do a what's in my bag today, right? You know, I was planning on shooting some storms, maybe, potentially. So I have a uh, Think Tank Retrospective 10, I think this is. I don't remember. Yeah, it's 10. Uh, so in the bag, I have a, uh, an EM1 that's gripped. I have the 40 to 150 Pro. I know you're thinking 40 to 150 for storms. Well, yeah, of course. Uh, I have the 12 to 40 and the 7 to 14 all in that bag. So that's my water, my weather sealed water resistant kit right there for storms but I did also bring the uh, think tank turnstile bag and, and that it has the pen F with the 17 millimeter 1.8 12 millimeter f2 45 millimeter 1.8 and 8 millimeter 1.8 a lot of 1.8s in there and it's crazy that it all fits in this little tiny bag but, you know, that's kind of the beauty of shooting with this system, right? Uh, why did I have that kit with me? Hell, why not? It's not like it takes up a lot of room, right? Uh, the big kit stayed in my car while I was at work, and the smaller pen kit went inside work with me and just sits under my desk. All right, so I'm going to turn the camera off now. And like I said, if a photographic opportunity presents itself to me, then I'm going to take it. I'm not going to be venturing off my normal commute path today, though. I don't have time for that. I have to pick up a uh, battery for my truck. Ugh. Exciting stuff. So maybe I'll vlog me changing the battery in my truck. How exciting would that be? Not at all. <laughs> Alright, talk to you guys in a bit. Okay, guys, so I'm back home. And the total number of shots that I took today were there zero nothing not a single one just didn't have time you know how it is you know you just have a, a normal life you got things that you need to do today it was uh, getting a new battery put in my truck I had to take the old one out which was a bear because it was old so it was corroded in there and it was a pain in the butt to get the terminals off so I got the terminals off and had to by the time I got that done, it was time for me to start getting dinner rolling. Um, my wife is a working wife, so uh, her job has her working later in the day than I do, so lots of times I cook dinner. So I had to cook dinner, and once dinner was done, you know, you need that downtime with family to just kind of talk and catch up on how everybody's day went and things like that. So once that was done, then it was time to go get the battery for my truck and, um, and had to actually put new terminals on because the terminal connectors 
for my old battery were completely shot. Um, so it was a job. <laughs> it was work. Um, so no shooting at all, really. Just been kind of um, catching up on some social stuff here, you know, and prepping for out of Chicago next week. Totally floored for out of Chicago. Nervous. I always get nervous before any kind of event, whether I'm shooting a wedding for somebody or doing senior portraits or teaching a workshop or speaking for a camera club or something. I always get nervous, but it's a good thing because it's, it's excited nerves, you know. I'm not nervous that I'm going to fail or something. I just nervous hoping that, you know, that whatever I have to do or say appeals to everybody. You know, I hate the thought that, you know, that if I have a group, that one person might not be satisfied. I don't like that. But, you know, whatever, you're going to get it, I suppose. Um, so that's it for today, you know. I'm hoping for some photo opportunities tomorrow, you know. If not, I'll tell you what. This weekend, <laughs> I guarantee there's going to be some photo ops. What kind they are, I'm not exactly sure. It's going to be an interesting weekend, for sure. It'll be a great weekend for this little toy right here, the TG Tracker. Um, and so I'd asked the other day, should I do like a full blown review of the tracker? And I've gotten plenty of feedback that says, yes, do a full blown review. So I'm going to try and squeeze that in here. It's going to be a couple of weeks though. So if the review is something that you're waiting for before you make a decision to purchase, um, I hope you want to wait because, you know, like I said, this weekend I'll be camping. It's not going to be review time but I will try to make sure that I do things with the camera that will work their way into the review but the next week you know it's out of Chicago um, even though it's not towards the end till the end of the week it's Thursday Friday Saturday Sunday um, but the beginning part of the week I'll have stuff I need to do to prep for that and I'll continue to vlog of course but sitting down and focusing on an actual review is, I'm just not gonna have time for that um, I'm working on an article too um, and it pertains to it pertains to this right there and it pertains to little birds so you get the idea I'm gonna put together a little write-up on uh, birding with not just necessarily the 300 but the 300 will be a big focus in that article but also with the 75 to 300 which I've got some great bird photos with that and also with the 40 to the 40 to 150 2.8 Pro as well um, It'll just be just a basic write-up, you know, on um, how to set up for shooting birds, how to find birds, how to help identify birds, camera settings, things like that. Just things that I've learned along the way that have helped me. Um, so, yeah, look forward to that coming out soon. And, well, not soon, but before long. <laughs> I'll just say that. My plate is always full. Um, I'll talk to you guys later. Thanks for tuning in, and uh, thanks for all the suggestions all the time. I really appreciate it, you guys. Peace out.